Good afternoon, Destination Space News Now. Time now, 3.32 on the button. We are counting down to the Axiom 2 mission launch from right here on our space coast. Let's take a live look at the feed here and see, oh, there we go, they're getting ready. Uh, we can see them suited up there and going over some final things. These are not the astronauts, however, this is just part of the crew. In fact, we're down to two hours, five minutes. And speaking of crews, let's get to our crew who has taken us down to that final countdown out there on the Space Coast. That would be our space experts, both Greg Pallone and Will Robinson Smith. Gentlemen, I, the only thing your blazers are missing are patches for today's mission, but I'll allow, I'll allow it skip for now. Oh, I was about to grab mine. I don't know where it is. It's uh, somewhere around here, but uh, we, we'll, we'll make it official later, Asher. Glad to be with you this mm -hmm. afternoon, this Sunday. A busy day out here on the Space Coast. Got some boat races going on in Cocoa Beach. We also have a rocket on the pad, Pad 39A mm -hmm. here at the Kennedy Space Center, getting ready to send up the Axiom 2 private astronauts uh, up to the International Space Station. Launch time set for 537 this afternoon, so we're just about a couple hours or so before that liftoff. Uh, things looking good so far. We do see some rain out to our west, but hopefully this breeze is coming off the ocean. Ocean. We'll hold that back, and so far, Will, the timeline seems to be going so well. Yeah, a smooth countdown. Uh, things seem to be going well. We've heard no hiccups on the audio loop, so that's what we want to hear, everything nominal. Uh, and if you take a live look out of the pad right here, uh, you can see on the left-hand side of your screen the Crew Dragon Freedom standing tall, getting ready to fly to space for the second time on top of a first-time flyer for a first-stage booster. Also a first on that end, it's going to be returning to landing zone one, a first First for a crewed mission, just an improvement as SpaceX continues to fly and improve the performance of these vehicles that are really the workhorse of their fleet. This is uh, the 25th mission from Florida this year, but for SpaceX, it is going to be their 34th of 2023. Yep, yep. Things looking good so far. And of course, the crew always takes a spotlight as well they should, but also very important research going to be going up uh, and launching uh, on this Axiom 2 crew mission heading up to the uh, International Space Station. Pat O'Neill, uh, with cases joins us now to talk a little bit about that and uh, so yeah uh, take us through some of the highlights yeah so the ISS National Lab which is managed by the Center for the Advancement of Science and Space cases uh, we're proud to sponsor more than 20 investigations that are launching on this mission uh, and it really ranges a, a wide variety of, of inquiries from life sciences uh, material sciences there's gonna be a lot of stem demonstrations as well so again it really demonstrates the breadth of what is possible uh, when you start to, to send research to that uh, unique environment in, in low Earth orbit yeah and, and and, you know, this is an opportunity, you know, to get more research into orbit, you know, as we get more private entities joining in with NASA and some of its um, international partners, uh, some tech demonstrations, but really uh, some very mature life science projects also heading up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what's encouraging about this or this launch is that there is a, a variety of investigators that have sent multiple payloads to the space station, whether that be through AX-1 or whether that be through NASA funded initiatives or ISS National Lab sponsored payloads. So, again, to your point, Will, it's the opportunity to really iterate and build on previous science that's been done and see how we can leverage that space environment to bring value back to humanity here on Earth. The Axiom 2 mission uh, as uh, was Axiom 1 and future missions, setting the table for what Axiom wants to do, a, a private space station in the near future. I would imagine there would be uh, relationships and, uh, and uh, with with the different scientists and, and that type of thing as mirroring what's happening on the ISS right now with that space station. Absolutely. So as of right now, we have the space station that is slated to go through 2030. Uh, but they're all multiple multiple companies, Axiom being one of them, that is interested in building a commercial destination in low Earth orbit. Uh, and from a, a national lab perspective, who is to say that one day down the road, there might be national labs that represent uh, opportunities for researchers to send science to those respective commercial destinations in low Earth orbit. Uh, we're excited to help to build that demand right now. And these types of missions right now are the critical first steps that are going to help to enable what happens in the next five years, 10 years, 20 years, and beyond. So it's really exciting to be here. And we're just uh, we're, we're tickled to death to be able to spot to a lot of the science that's flying on this. And I'm, I'm sure you've learned a lot from uh, the Axiom 1 mission to Axiom 2. So very excited to see, you know, a very busy eight days for the astronauts once they got on orbit. Uh, looking forward to the science. Thanks for joining us. Pat O'Neill at the ISS National Lab. All right. Thanks a lot, Pat. All right. Uh, again, uh, waiting for things uh, to progress through the timeline. The crew buttoned up in their Crew Dragon capsule uh, on top of that Falcon 9 at uh, Pad 39A. And things looking good so far. Instantaneous launch at 537 this afternoon to the International Space Station. We appreciate you joining us this afternoon as we continue our preview coverage all the way through launch. For Will Robinson-Smith, I'm Greg Pallone, Spectrum News 13.